Hello, I'm Linda Veet from Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, New York, and I have no disclosures. Today, I will be talking to you about a unique partnership to encourage colorectal cancer screening in public housing residents. As you can see from the pictures on the screen, Upstate and Upstate Cancer Center are the immediate neighbors of a large public housing development right in the city of Syracuse known as Pioneer Homes. Pioneer Homes is one of the oldest public housing developments in the United States. It's operational and it's been fully occupied since 1940. Because of the proximity of Upstate and Upstate's mission to serve the community, we knew we needed a better relationship with our neighbors in public housing and needed to address the health disparities that they suffered from. We know people in housing often lead, lead challenging lives. And because of this, they don't always address their health concerns right away when something easily can be treated. Upstate, as the academic medical university in the region, feels a responsibility to change this way of thinking. In 2010, Upstate Medical University and Syracuse Housing formed what we call the Healthy Neighbors Partnership. The Healthy Neighbors Partnership has the goal to address health disparities in this underserved population. One of the very first things we did was a needs assessment to see what the health issues of the residents were and what they were most concerned about. From this needs assessment, we found that cancer, specifically breast and colorectal cancer, ranked high on the list of concerns among people in public housing. The model that we developed to educate and screen residents in housing for colon cancer was a peer-to-peer -peer approach. Through collaboration with the Housing Authority, we identified residents who lived in housing who would be good role models, almost stars in the community. They are people who are well-respected by their peers. We call them peer advocates or resident health advocates or RHAs for short. They are very similar to community health workers, but in this case, they live and work in public housing and serve their neighbors and friends. We have 10 resident health advocates in total with six focused on cancer screening. All resident health advocates are trained by upstate health professionals in all health topics for eight weeks in general, and then an additional four weeks of specific training is done for whatever the diseases we're studying. And in this case, it's colorectal cancer. We call our colorectal cancer screening program the We Matter program, and it's trademarked as such. We were able to start the We Matter program in 2016 under the Healthy Neighbors Partnership umbrella due to a generous grant from the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The money was used to pay stipends to the RHAs for the work they do, and it also funded the educational sessions we did by paying for the lunches during the Lunch and Learns and small incentives for people such as branded We Matter t-shirts for the participants who get screened for colorectal cancer. The We Matter colon screening program focuses on education and screening for colon cancer with the goals to increase knowledge, decrease fear, increase screening, and assist with navigation in the health system if anything worrisome is found. The peer advocates or RHAs work under close supervision with the program coordinator and do activities with the populations such as lunch and learn presentations, playing colon cancer trivia, tabling at health fairs, barbecues, neighborhood events, community events, going door to door to educate all and encourage people to be screened for colorectal cancer. One of our RHAs, Janet, in the lower right-hand picture, the woman with the longer, darker hair, has an interesting story. Janet developed breast cancer in 2014 and was helped by another one of our RHAs. After the good experience she had with our program, she decided to become an RHA herself and give back to the community. 
Janet is now one of our star RHAs for colon cancer. This table shows the success of our efforts and the success of the partnership. Since 2016, we have educated over 2,500 people in housing across eight public housing developments. Of the 2,500 people educated, over 1,100 are 50 years of age and older. And it's this group that we target for screening with either a fit kit or with a colonoscopy. We found that people are more accepting of the fit kit. From 2016 to 2019, we used a three sample kit and had a return rate of 25%. In 2019, we switched to a one sample kit and the return rate increased to 50% in this traditionally hard to reach population. In the approximately 100 people that were screened through We Matter, three had polyps removed that most likely were precancerous. We continue to run the We Matter program with great results and a wider acceptance of screening in public housing residents and beyond. The RHAs or peer advocates have become well-versed in colon cancer facts and do a great job with getting people educated and screened. The RHAs and the program coordinator are definitely the keys to the success of the We Matter program. We will be replicating this program in the rural and Hispanic communities in and around Syracuse. For anyone who is thinking about developing a community cancer screening program, one of the very first things to do is a needs assessment to see if the targeted population is concerned about colorectal cancer and if they're accepting of the screening that goes with it. Another very important aspect of developing a program is getting buy-in from leadership and stakeholders. In our case, the Upstate President's Office, along with the Cancer Center leaders, understand and support the program with many in-kind donations of staff time. We have a great relationship with the Executive Director of Syracuse Housing, which is very important in gaining access to the population and building the all-important trust as well as helping to provide space to run the programs. A strong project coordinator is essential, as is funding for the peer advocates. Branding the program is also important because people want to be associated with something bigger. We Matter has become a movement in public housing and one in which people are proud to be a part of. We see public housing residents wearing their We Matter shirts proudly in the community, and people are beginning to tell us when they're due for their next screening. Now that's behavior change. Continuous engagement is what has made this program successful. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.